Have you ever wondered why people look at you strangely in Switzerland when you peacefully eat your cucumber and don't think anything bad about it? Or why one of your neighbors is so amazingly quick to stand on your doormat as soon as it gets a bit noisy at your place after 10 pm? Then listen up, because in this video series I would like to introduce you to the blunders of different countries in order to save you from unpleasant situations. When visiting Switzerland, the country where the clock ticks more precisely than the heartbeat of a teenager in love, and the mountains are almost as high as chocolate consumption, there are quite a few faux pas you should be aware of when visiting Switzerland. First and foremost we have the fact that you should never make fun of the Swiss German dialect. Yes, it sounds cute and has a surprising number of creative expressions, but making fun of it is not appreciated. It is much more appreciated if you try to incorporate some local Swiss German words in case you are interested in moving to the German part of Switzerland. Additionally, the beautiful fact that Switzerland has four national languages should not be forgotten. With a friendly Grüezi in Geneva or Lugano, people will look at you in a confused manner. In Switzerland it is usual not to arrive empty-handed when visiting visiting someone. A small gift is appreciated as long as it is not Belgian chocolate or French cheese. Just kidding. In Switzerland you should never lose your piece of bread in the fondue. Because depending on family tradition, tough challenges await the person who loses their bread in the fondue. This ranges from crawling under the table to kissing someone present at a dinner and you can make use of all your imagination for these challenges. In Switzerland you should never eat cucumbers in their pure form. This is because it is almost an unwritten law to always enjoy cucumbers with the traditional Swiss aromat. It is also suitable for enhancing other foods such as eggs or side dishes and apparently real Swiss even enjoy their steak with the aromatic Swiss seed. Seasoning. Trying it when visiting Switzerland certainly won't hurt, as long as you are interested in how it tastes. Switzerland has such reliable public transportation that if you are late it is more likely that your watch is wrong than that the train actually arrived late. And part of that punctuality is due to the efficient onboarding and offboarding at the platform. So when you are in Switzerland, never get on the train directly, but let all the people get off first. And yes, also that one last person who rushes out of the train at the very end, and only then do all the people get on the waiting train. And when you go to the escalator at the train station, don't stand on the left side of the escalator, because locals follow the rule, walk left, stand right. The Swiss are also known for their politeness. The words please, thank you or merci are often used, so make sure to incorporate these words of politeness into your own vocabulary as well. It is also usual, if you are not living in the city center, to greet people passing by with a friendly grüezi or to raise your hand to thank the waiting car when crossing the crosswalk. Likewise, the Swiss are known to be a bit more reserved, at least at first. Telling your whole life story to a person sitting next to you on the train will probably not resonate as much as in more talkative and sociable cultures. However, things will remain exciting for longer, because you will learn more about your counterpart step by step the closer the relationship becomes. One of the biggest blunders in Switzerland is to make much noise. Swiss people are very sensitive to noise and there are many, sometimes even strange noise laws that underline this. Between 10 pm and 7 am it is generally important to keep quiet and on Sundays you should leave your loud lawn mower in the garden shed. After all it deserves a day of rest as well. But don't worry, if you operate with common sense, you have nothing to fear. By the way, the involuntarily holy wake-up service, I mean the church bells, do not have to adhere to the culture of silence, much to the annoyance of everyone who lives next to a church. Swiss people take the correct disposal of waste very seriously. Whether it is paper, glass, plastic, metal or residual waste, the correct disposal of waste is an integral part of the routines of many households. So it is not unusual to find such shockingly beautiful and neatly bound paper blocks at the roadside, which are collected by the municipality to recycle the paper. A very big and above all expensive blunder is driving too fast on Swiss roads. Residents are extremely sensitive to the speed limit and for good reason, because speeding can become expensive very quickly. So in Switzerland you better not push your car to its speed limits, you can even end up in jail for it. And with the amount of speed cameras in Switzerland, I wouldn't count on your sins going undetected. Another thing with which you will probably offend most Swiss is when you mention that an indirect democracy would be much more efficient. And that may be true, but the goal of a democracy is not high efficiency, but that the opinion of every single person is included as good as possible in the decision making process. Or with statements like Switzerland would be much better off if it were part of the European Union, you probably won't score much point with most Swiss. 
After all, more than three quarters of the population voted against European Union membership in a referendum in 2001. I've heard quite a few such comments from tourists and some of them really amazed me. A little understanding of the Swiss political system certainly does not hurt when visiting this country. Another blunder can be the too frequent complaining about the high Swiss prices. Yes, life is expensive, but you also earn significantly more and thanks to lower tax burden, there is more money left at the end of the day. And if you are just visiting Switzerland as a tourist, make sure to have a big enough budget to enjoy the beauty of the country to the fullest. The next blunder is to leave Switzerland without having had a taste of Swiss milk chocolate, the creamy warm fondue, a sizzling raclette, a sweet nut cake or mild alpine cheese. Because these iconic dishes are simply too irresistible. And if you don't burn off the calories you've gained on a sporty mountain hike, expect to loosen your belt a bit after visiting Switzerland. Another interesting blunder concerns the alcoholic drink absinthe, which you were not allowed to consume in Switzerland until 2005. Absinthe has its roots in the Val de Travers in the canton of Neuchâtel, a region in western Switzerland. It was originally developed as a medicine in the 18th century, but quickly gained popularity, especially in France and Switzerland. It was often consumed as a substitute for wine, as wine became scarce and expensive at times. However, in 1910, absinthe was banned in Switzerland, mainly due to health concerns and a strong anti-absinthe movement. It was believed that absinthe, due to an ingredient called tuyon, caused hallucinations and led to insanity. Some of these rumors were reinforced by media reports and scandals, such as the case of a Swiss farmer who murdered his family in 1905 and whose crime was attributed to his absinthe consumption. The ban in Switzerland lasted for nearly a century and it wasn't until 2005 that it was officially lifted and the production and sale of absinthe was legalized again. Meanwhile, research has shown that absinthe, when properly produced, has no dangerous side effects beyond normal alcohol consumption. Today, absinthe is once again produced in Switzerland using traditional methods, and the country has again established itself as a center of high-quality absinthe. Modern Swiss absinthe production is strictly regulated, especially with regards to Thion content. So at least until 2005, you needed to keep your hands off the green temptation. Have I forgotten any blunders? Feel free to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.